Hi, friends. I'm Pastor Jack Mantrick, pastor at Central United Methodist Church right here in Waterford, Michigan. We are continuing with our discussion of how a good God uh, could uh, exist uh, in a world created by that good God that has so much evil and suffering in it. And so, uh, as I, I said, the question is, if God is a good God, if, if God is loving, then why would God allow suffering? Why would he allow uh, to let someone who didn't do anything wrong go through what they're going through? Why would God allow it to happen? So whatever it is in your life, whatever suffering you're experiencing, whatever downturn in life, whatever challenge you are facing, why would God let that happen? And we have a 25 cent word, as I suggested, that we learned in seminary called theodicy. Uh, it's a fun word to say, theodicy. It's basically the question of how in the universe created by a loving and caring creator can suffer and, uh, and evil exist. How is that possible? Well, <clears throat> we've talked about how, uh, how it, that evil is not uh, a proof of, that God does not exist. That's often an argument that is posited by uh, atheists saying that, well, you know, there can't be a, a good and loving God if there is evil and suffering in the world. Why would a loving and good God let that happen? And Asaph, that's what he struggled with. Remember, he's the guy who wrote Psalm 73. He suffered with that same thought. He says, hey, look, I, I can see, I see people who do bad things all the time and they're prospering. They, they are, they're making uh, for great lives. They even have good bodies. <laughs> he says, hey, they're even, you know, strong of body and, 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 uh, and uh, an able bodied. And so uh, he says, how is it that I can live my life seeking purity, seeking innocence, and uh, I'm, I'm not prospering like they are, you know? So, um, He's, he's frustrated with the, the flagrant evil and injustice in the world. And I suggested uh, a couple of days ago that do you have those same feelings at times? And uh, the odyssey is how can that, how can a good God and suffering in, in the world coexist? And uh, the issue is not that because there's suffering and evil in the world that God does not exist. That's not proof of that. In fact, it's proof of just the opposite, that God is with us. Uh, it is all about uh, free will. And, and uh, uh, God gives to us free will. Harold Kushner in his book, When Bad Things Happen to Good People, said that, look, God self-limits so that we can have the choice to love. God gives us free will to choose love, to love God. I, I, I said, hey, look, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> God allows us to, to choose to love God or not. God allows us to choose love of others or hatred toward people. Hatred toward God. God allows that free choice for us. Now, I think God has his druthers, just as we have our, 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 uh, our uh, druthers in terms of uh, how life is lived. Um, uh, I remember telling the story many, many times uh, throughout my ministry of our daughter when she was born. She was in, uh, uh, she was in uh, neonatal intensive care. And... Uh, I, I came to a sense of peace with her being in neonatal intensive care, knowing that either she would uh, live and we would have the joy of, of, uh, of uh, welcoming her into our family and raising her, and, uh, or she would die. She would die and be in God's presence. And that's when I found peace in that uh, scenario. So, uh, and I certainly had... <laughs> my opinion on what I would wanted, wanted to happen. I wanted that little girl to come home and be in our family, and she was, and she's now a beautiful um, 
adult woman married and uh, has a career and uh, graduated with honors uh, in her master's program in social work. Uh, and she's a rehabilitative counselor. Um, and we're very, very proud of her, of course. So friends, I want you to think about this. Uh, think of the gift that free will is for us and how God loves us so much that God is willing for us to make a choice to love God in return or not. Let's pray. Gracious God, we ask that your blessing be upon us. We are thankful for your gift of free will. It's an awesome responsibility for us, and we thank you for it. And we ask that you give us wisdom and guidance so that we may live our lives in ways that reflect uh, uh, our honor as, as human beings made in your image and your glory, God. We ask that you put upon us the guidance of your Holy Spirit so that we may know how to love all others in ways that you would want us to, to lift them up, to help them always to understand your grace and mercy. We ask that you uh, be with us in this great adventure uh, of life that you give so freely to us, including the, 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 the freedom to choose how we live our life. Guide us, O oh Lord. Help us to, to be close with you and close with one another. We pray for this in the name of Christ our Lord. Amen. Hey, friends, have a great Thursday, and God bless you.